morning, everyone. Welcome to our breakfast at UM Health today. Today is a special uh, session for the Faculty of Medicine's Best Neuroscience Publications for the Year of Publications in 2020. And we have two speakers today. Faculty of Medicine's Best Publications Award uh, was originated from the fund received from Mardell Science Award, which was given to Faculty of Medicine in 2006 for the Nipah outbreak research. The award was subsequently promote, used to promote uh, neuroscience research at the Faculty of Medicine, which was subsequently called Faculty of Medicine Best uh, Neuroscience Publications Award. And uh, I would like to introduce you to the Nipah virus team, which was led by uh, Prof. Professor uh, Siti Tan, and uh, the other team members include uh, Prof. KJ Go, H.T. Chong, K.S. Tan, Limelan, uh, and K.C. Chiu, and uh, Professor K.B. Chua, Prof. Adiba, Prof. Patrick Tan, Prof. Wong, and Sazila, and S.K. Lam. The selection criteria is based on the overall quality and significance of the research, the degree, and of the relevance to neurology, neurosurgery, and neuroscience in Malaysia as well as the impact factor of the scientific journals and the citations index. This usually go through through a uh, judging process. First, it will be judged by the internal judges and subsequently followed by the external judges. And these are the judges that we would like to acknowledge. Firstly, uh, those who have judged the clinical papers, including Professor Mark Cook from Melbourne, Professor Aino Wilder Smith from Singapore, as well as for uh, basic neuroscience uh, associate professor Lipo San from Singapore and Professor uh, Shamala Devi uh, from UCSI, who was previously from uh, our faculty as well. So this is the first paper uh, which was uh, 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 lead, uh, which was mainly written by uh, Kogila Wani, and today will be presented by uh, Dr. Wong Ka Hui. And the title is Malaysian Macroalga Patina Australis Hot uh, Attenuates High Dose Corticosterone medi Mediated Oxidative Damage in PC12 Cells Mimicking the Effects of Depressions. And this was published in Saudi Journal of Bi Biological Science with an impact factor of 4.291. I would like to uh, invite uh, Dr. Wong uh, to present her uh, uh, presentations. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Lim. Uh, I'm Wong Ka Hui from Anatomy Department, Faculty of Medicine. I'll be presenting um, my research title, Malaysian Macroalga Podena Australis Hawk Attenuates High Dose Corticosterone Mediated Oxidative Damage in PC12 Cells Mimicking the Effects of Depression. Um, the authors are Kogilawani Subramaniam, Dr. Kogilawani Subramaniam, Associate Professor Dr. Yao Yunyan of Sunway University, Dr. Lim Siuhua of the Faculty of Science, UM, Associate Professor Dr. Ko Ong Hui of the Faculty of Medicine, UM, and myself, Ka Hui. Padana Australis Hawk, 1987, um, is a brown macroalgae belongs to the family of Pheophyceae. Um, it is a brown seaweed distributed worldwide at uh, tropical and subtropical water. This is the morphological features of a dried uh, specimen or the dried herbarium. It has the enroll margin, the sorus, this called hole fast for the attachment to solid substrate in the water, um, the stalk and the fan-shaped blade or the frond. Generally, the seaweed can be divided into the brown type, uh, red type, and the green type. So the predominant pigments um, in this algae is responsible for its color. This is uh, Dr. Kogilawani Subramaniam, the main author, um, harvesting the brown seaweed or the Padana australis at Cape Rachado, Protestant Negeri Sembilan. These are the list of the secondary metabolites isolated from Padana Australis, um, reported by various researchers in Southeast Asian countries. 
namely the fucoxanthin that gives the brown color um, of this macroalga, fluorotanin, fucosterol, chlorophylls, phytol, and fucoidin. And they possess uh, various medicinal properties. We propose um, the model related to dysregulation of neuroendocrine system or dysregulation of HPA axis, hypothalamus, pituitary gland, um, and the adrenal gland axis. Under chronic stress, there's an upregulation of corticotrophin releasing hormone produced um, by the hypothalamus that leads to increased production of ACTH, adrenal corticotrophin hormone, from the anterior pituitary. So that uh, causes increased production of glucocorticoid from the adrenal gland cortex. Patients with uh, chronic stress have reduced expression of glucocorticoid receptors, particularly in the hippocampus, prefrontal cortex, um, and the anterior pituitary. So this model is very much associated with uh, inflammation and oxidative stress. Currently, the medication um, to manage the depression have multiple adverse effects, uh, including dry mouth, um, gastrointestinal problem, cardiovascular disturbances, hepatotoxicity, and seizure, etc. So um, that brings to our research question: Can banana australis attenuate the deleterious effect of oxidative stress in depression, and may provide an effective and accessible um, treatment strategy for the management of depression. Our general objective was to examine the protective effects of Malaysian Padana Australis against high-dose corticosterone mediated oxidative damage in search of cells mimicking the effects of depression. We had two specific objectives, to isolate and to identify the compounds of Padana Australis and to assess the regulatory effects of this brown seaweed on endogenous antioxidant activity and mitochondrial function. To achieve specific objective one, isolation and identification compounds of compounds from Padana Australis, um, we used the fresh uh, seaweed harvested from Cape Prachado Protestant. The seaweed was then uh, washed with salt water to remove the debris and the mud, freeze dried, and powderized. The powder was subjected to sequential extraction using the hexane and the ethyl acetate to obtain three fractions, the hexane, ethyl acetate, and the ethanol extracts. Since the ethanol extract, um, um, since we achieved the highest yield okay, um, in ethanol extract, we use this type of ethanol fraction or the ethanol extract for further isolation work uh, based on size and the polarity using the gel permeation chromatography method and preparative radiochromatography that um, yielded about 54 subfractions, 11 and 43 fractions, respectively. These fractions were further purified by the PRC method, permeation chromatography, um, and analyzed by the LCMS. And these are the major compounds isolated from the banana australis. They are the secondary metabolites um, belong to the group of esters. There are two esters, amide and the fatty acids. To achieve the specific objective tool, we employ the red fuel chromocytoma adherent cells or the pc adherent cells. Um, this is the widely used um, cells uh, for neural protection and neural regeneration study because the cells can uh, be easily manipulated uh, by the nerve growth factor or the NGF. So these cells uh, were developed by Green and Tischler in 1976 from the red adrenal tumor. For the oxidative stress study, we first determined the high-dose corticosterone and the IC50 value um, of the Padana australis using MTT viability assays. Our experimental design 
include the MTP viability, LDH release, endogenous antioxidant activity, endoplasmic reticulum stress, mitochondrial function, release of reactive oxygen species, and host staining of apoptotic nuclei. We found that uh, 600 macromolar uh, corticosterone um, was the high dose corticosterone, the actual concentration of high dose corticosterone based on uh, MPT viability assay because that reduced the viability to 55%. Um, As for the Padana Australis, this is the safe concentration that we use in our experiment, 0 0.25 to 4 mg per ml. For the measurement of cytotoxicity, we found that the concentration in the range of 0 0.25 to 4 mg per ml of the ethanol extract of Brenda Australis um, did not cause any cytotoxicity effect um, in the PC12 cells. Uh, we selected the lowest concentration, which is the 0 0.25 mg per ml of the ethanol extract. Uh, for the subsequent assays of oxidative stress. And we observe um, reduced level of lactate dehydrogenase uh, enzyme. It is an oxidoreductase oxido enzyme um, in the cytoplasm, which is rapidly uh, released to the extracellular compartment in response to oxidative stress. And we found that uh, the brown seedweed significantly reduced its level compared to the uh, cells treated with the corticosterone, the high-dose corticosterone. As for the regulation of the endogenous antioxidant activity, we found an increased level of GSH to GSSG ratio. GSH stands for reduced glutathione. GSSG is the uh, oxidized glutathione. So um, the level is uh, significantly higher uh, compared to cells treated with corticosterone or the desipramine. By the way, desipramine is the uh, tricyclic antidepressant used as the positive control in our study. Okay, um, it has been hypothesized that endoplasmic uh, reticulum stress triggers the regulation of uh, glutathione metabolism and glutathione related enzymes. So in line with this hypothesis, we also observe uh, a decreased level of ER stress uh, in the cells treated with the brown seaweed. So ER stress is defined as the accumulation of misfolded or unfolded protein in the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum. As for the mitochondrial function, we measured the mitochondrial uh, membrane potential or the MMP. Uh, MMP is an electrochemical gradient generated in the inner mitochondrial membrane that drives the synthesis of ATP. So we also observe an increased level of MMP um, following uh, administration of corticosterone to the PC12 cells. Echonitis activity. So echonitis uh, is an enzyme of the Krebs cycle. So we found uh, that uh, slightly higher concentration at one milligram per ml of the Padana australis was needed um, to increase the echonitis uh, activity following oxidative stress. As for the ROS level and uh, the apoptosis, restoration of mitochondrial function uh, and increased endogenous antioxidant uh, activity uh, reduce the level of uh, intracellular ROS as well as the uh, percentage of apoptotic cells. Taken together, the Padana australis uh, grown in Malaysia water attenuated the level of RS, uh, loss of membrane integrity, restoring the mitochondrial function, promoted uh, endogenous antioxidant enzyme activities, um, okay, as well as uh, attenuating the ER stress level. So um, at this stage, uh, we have not uh, fully understand um, the mitochondrial biogenesis 
uh, that drives the mitochondrial oxidative phosphorylation for mitochondrial function. So in conclusion, we suggest the therapeutic potential of this brown seaweed in promoting antidepressant-like effects in in vitro model uh, mimicking depression. So uh, managing depression is a multidisciplinary effort involving the scientists, uh, r and strategy, the patient family and caregiver engagement, health professionals and uh, associated um, association. That's all for my uh, presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Kahui. We, uh, at the same time, we would like to encourage the neurosciences in uh, Faculty of Medicine in UM to submit your to consider submitting your papers for 2021 uh, soon. We will uh, send out the announcements uh, in uh, due dates. So uh, the reasons of why these papers was selected is because firstly, uh, the judges feel that the area of depression and psychiatrists are rarely in investigated in Malaysia. And secondly, the plan is from Malaysia as well, as this is a very unique uh, study design which is very essential and very useful for uh, patients and uh, uh, for patients uh, not only in Malaysia but worldwide. Now I would like to introduce you to our second uh, presenters, who is Dr. Yong. She is our student uh, who has just graduated in 2018 and obtained her master degree, and this is part of her master uh, project. Her paper that was published was named uh, Progressive and Acceler Accelerated Weight and Body Fat Loss in Parkinson's Disease, a three-year prospective uh, longitudinal study. And this was uh, present, uh, published in Parkinsonism and Related Disorders with an impact factor of 4.891. Now, I